Hi all, this is Sarvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. The purpose of this channel is to cover from basic to advanced networking including the latest networking technologies and the topic I am going to discuss about end-to-end -end and local VLAN. So what is VLAN? VLAN is logically segmenting a switch into multiple smaller broadcast domain and VLANs are more scalable and flexible. So how the VLANs are scaled based upon its scalability, it is categorized into end-to-end -end and local VLAN. So this is the architecture containing access switch, distribution switch and core switch. This is an access layer and this is a distribution layer and this is a core layer. So this is a local VLAN. Local VLAN is VLANs are localized to a single switch and it will not span the entire network. But in case of end-to-end -end VLAN, it is spread across the entire network. So that is the difference between end-to-end -end and local VLAN. So now let us go to the end-to-end -end VLAN. So end-to-end -end VLAN span the entire network. That means it is disposed throughout the entire network. Assume I have configured VLAN 2, 3, 4 here, the same set of VLANs I will configure over this switch block also. So as the user moves around the network, the VLAN membership remains the same since this is an end-to-end -end VLAN and it follows the traffic pattern 80 by 20. That means 80% of the traffic stays within the local and 20% for accessing the external resources. Since this is an end-to-end -end VLAN, I need to carry the VLAN information between the access and the distribution switches. So I need to enable trunking and VTP. So trunking and VTP is used to carry all the VLAN information between the access and the distribution switches. So since extending the VLAN from one end of this block to other end, so broadcast traffic will be more and there are more chances for a switching globe. So these are for the disadvantages of the end-to-end -end VLAN. So what is local VLAN? In case of local VLAN, the VLANs are configured or localized to a single switch. So in this case of local VLAN, if the users have moved to a different switch block, the VLAN, they will be assigned to different VLANs because I have configured only the VLANs localized to a single switch as the VLANs are local here. So what happened? It follows a traffic pattern 20 by 80. That means 20% of the traffic stays within the local and 80% for accessing the external resources. So these local VLANs are very easy to configure since there is a single set of VLAN and the VTP is not mandatory to configure. So there is no broadcast traffic and the routing is done using a layer 3. So since it is a single VLAN, the VLANs are localized to a single switch. So routing is done using a layer 3. So that is the difference between a end-to-end -end and local VLAN. So end-to-end -end VLANs are dispersed throughout the network. So I need to extend the traffic from one end to other end. So the disadvantage is the broadcast traffic is more. But in case of local VLAN, it is easier to configure and the VLANs are localized to the single switch and the routing also is very simple because I need to extend from access to distribution, distribution to the core, right? So I have to done the routing using a layer 3. So these are the advantages and the disadvantages of the local VLAN. But in case of end-to-end -end VLAN, it follows a traffic pattern 80 by 20. But local VLAN, it follows a traffic pattern 20 by 80. I hope you understood what is an end-to-end -end and local VLAN. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you.